All right. So in this video of Salesforce Bytes, we talk about how can you share list views with a public group, right? So to be able to share list views with a public group, the primary prerequisite requirement is that you should have a public group, right? So to create a public group, you can go to setup and you can just type in groups here. Right. So you see this option that comes up that says public groups. Let's go to this public group and let's create a new public group. All right. Now, before creating a new public group, let me go back to a use case. Let's say we want to create a list view on the leads object. Let's create a new list view. I'll call it trainer list view for leads. Right. And I will share this list view with a specific amount specific people. Right. For now, let me just say all users can see this list view and click on save. And let me add some fields in here, right? So I'll just filter it by all leads and I'll just say save. And I'll just try to select some fields to display. I don't want the state and province. I don't want the 100 by owner check, created date, owner alias. I'll just have four fields here, right? Let's click on save. And my lead status should be working contacted right let's add that filter so i'll just add a filter that will say lead status equals working contacted and i'll click on done and i'll save this right so my list view is ready but what i want to do is i want to share it with these two trainers that i have in the system right what two trainers if i go to my users list i should see three users here right one is the primary system admin which i am currently logged in as and then i have this trainer and this test user let's say these are the two users i want to share my list view with how do i do that so to be able to do that i have to create a group first of all so i'll just go to public groups i'll create a new group and i'll call it trainer group right and here what you can do is you can add another public group to it or you can also add users and roles as well so our requirement right now is we want to add two users so i'll just click on the user search and down here i'll choose the test user one and the trainer guy so these are the two users i want to add to the trainer group makes sense once i do that and i click on save my public group is ready my prerequisite is ready right let's go back to our list view and before setting anything here let's go and see how things look like for the SF trainer right here, right? So let's check if I am logged in as the SF trainer and I try to view the leads record. I have the trainer list view for leads. This is only because I have provided access as all users can see it. So if I just change this sharing setting to only I can see, I'll just click on save here and I'll refresh this page. So now if you see, I'm not able to see the list view. Right now, let's go back and give the access to the public group. Let's share this with the group of users. So to do that, you need to choose the third option. And here you have two options, either public groups and roles. So right now we want to share it with the public group. And when I click on this section, I get all the public groups available. So I can just say trainer group and I can click on save. Now what this will do is this will give access for this list view to all the users who are part of that trainer group. Now, who are those users? Those are the two users and based on which this user test user one should also get access to the list view so right now i don't see the trainer list view here let's me let me go ahead and click on the leads button again and let's see now i am able to see the list view coming up for me if i click on the trainer list view i am able to see the records all the four fields with the lead status as working contacted right so that's how you can share a list view with a public group now when would you use a public group that's a good question the answer to that is whenever you have users of different roles or maybe users who don't have a specific role in the system to be to be clubbed together or they need to come together to work for a business use case, you create a public group then, right? Public group, the name itself justifies that it is a group of people, right? They might be related to each other. They might be unrelated to each other. All right. So create that public group as a prerequisite. Go to the list view or create a new list view and share it with the specific public group. And that will provide access to the list view. All right. Thank you.